This is one of the first steps of any successful marketing campaign or marketing strategy. And it's the step that is most often overlooked or forgotten about. If you hire a professional agency, it's one of the first things they will do if they haven't done it already before working with you. And that's knowing your audience by developing a customer avatar. In this video, we are gonna go over how you can develop a customer avatar that will skyrocket your marketing efforts. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Liquid Digital Marketing Podcast. This is episode 65 and today we are talking about developing a detailed customer avatar. So <clears throat> what is a customer avatar? Basically, it's a detailed breakdown of who your ideal customer is. Not in a general sense, but down to the exact person. Like they have a name and a photo and everything. Like it's, it's a person, not a general sense of this is my audience. Why is it even important for you to have a customer avatar when it comes to your business and to your marketing efforts? Well, once you define this person of who is, who is your target audience, then it's going to allow you to know exactly who you're talking to, their pain points, what excites them. Now your messaging will speak directly to them and it's going to allow you to create a deeper relationship and connection with your audience because it's going to show that you understand them that much better. It's going to come out in your, your copy, in your verbiage, because when you write, you are going to be writing to them. When you speak, you're going to be speaking to them, to this person. It's gonna show that you understand them. And then this is going to help build trust and credibility. Also, what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep you from having to guess. And it's also going to remove your own bias of who they are and what they want and what their pain points are. Because you have already done the research and you will already know. So when you go to write and you go to speak, you will know who you're speaking to and what you're speaking about. So when you're creating this avatar, how do you go about it? Like what should be included? So first off, your avatar needs to have a name and a photo so you can address them and you can see them. You also wanna have their, probably the obvious information, like their demographics, right? So like their age, their sex, their, location, their work, their income level, the home type, the size of their family, their marital status, like that kind of information. Like, so their demographics. Then you want to include also their interest. So what sports are they into? Are there any like hobbies? Are there any groups they're involved with? Um, what do they like to, where do they like to go eat? Or what do they like to drink? What type of in entertainment do they like to consume? What type of books do they like to read? What type of groups are they in? I think I might have said that one already. Um, you know, like, what do they do? What businesses do they buy from? You know, what are their spending habits? Are they frugal? Do they spend a lot? Um, you know, do they spend on, on vacations? Or do they spend on technology? Or do they spend on real estate and investing? Or do they not like to spend their money and they, do they save everything you know so like what are their what are their financial habits and then some of the big things that people then don't think about is items in relation to you so you want to answer these questions and if you don't have the answers you need to get the answers the first one is what are their concerns related to your product or service so what are they concerned about coming into this? You know, is it a trust thing? Like if you're hiring a roofer, what are their, you know, what are your concerns when it comes to hiring a roofer? Like if you hire a plumber, like what are your concerns when you go to hire a plumber? Or if you're getting your pool put in, like what are these concerns that you have when it comes to like getting a new pool put in? So like, what are the, what are the concerns that they have? 
what has happened? Okay, so the next one is what has happened in the past that led them to this point? So if they're, if your service is a, a pain point or your product addresses a pain point or a need, like what has happened in the past that's got them to where they are to where they need this product or this service? And then how do they feel about what happened in the past? So how do, how do how, when they're coming into it, like what emotions are they having? Like how do they feel about what has happened so far to the point of them now contacting you? Where are they at mentally and emotionally? Now, the next one is what about your product or service matters most to this person? You know, is it the price? Is it the quality? Is it the speed? Or is it something else? Like what is it that matters most to them? The next one is how does it solve a need or a pain, or how does it make them feel good? The next thing, how does it better their life? So these last two are kind of like, what are the benefits that they're gonna get out of your product or service? The next one is what goes through their mind before they purchase your product or service? So what's going through their mind before they're thinking about buying from you? And then the last one is what is the final straw that makes them pull the trigger and move forward with your product or your service? What is the final straw? What is it that finally was like the point of like, all right, I'm done, I've had enough, I'm, make, I'm pulling this trigger. And maybe it's not an obvious one, or maybe it is. So you really gotta dive into this. So one of the challenges people have when developing their avatar is they get into it and they realize that, okay, I don't have the answers to these questions. So I have two options. I can take the easy route or I can take the more challenging route. So if you take the easy route and you guess what you think the answer would be, then it's you're gonna get a customer avatar and you're gonna have a person that you're talking to. The problem is it may not be 100% accurate. It's what you think. And if what you think isn't correct, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna work, right? Like your messaging is, is not gonna resonate like it would as if you actually did the research and found out the answers to these questions and didn't just make them up yourself. So my suggestion to you is to go out there and find the answer. A couple ways is to just go research, research forums, research um, the comment sections of different places. You know, go out there and see if you're, the answer is out there. Someone has found the answer to these questions. So see if you can go find it. If you can't find it online, then another great way to go about it is to actually interview some people in the industry, in that niche. See if, if you have some previous clients, see if you can set aside, you know, 10, 15 minutes and just kind of just ask them some questions. That is going to give you the answers to these questions. So my recommendation is to actually get the answers. Okay. So the next thing we need to talk about is some of the common mistakes to avoid when you develop your avatar. So the first one, don't guess the answer, which we just addressed. So go find the answer, interview somebody, do your research, but get the answer. And if it's not 100% accurate, then that's okay. At least it's closer than just you had guessing it. So, and then also the other thing is the answers aren't gonna be 100% the same for everybody, right? You're defining a customer avatar that is most like your ideal customer. So. Some of them are going to be a little bit over here and some of them are going to be a little bit over here. So what's the middle point? You know, you want to try to find, you know, what's the most common denominator of all of them. And that is your ideal customer. Okay. The next mistake is being vague. So don't, the more detail you can get, the better. So when it comes to family size, you know, like, you know, husband, wife, and kids, or is it, a divorced mom with three children. You know, like, let's get detailed. Who is this person? The next mistake is to create it and then forget about it, right? So the whole point of creating the customer avatar is to use it. So once you create it, 
print it out, get it out there, make sure it's available to you so when you need it, it's there. Know it, know the person's name, know the answers to these questions, understand who this person is. So that way when you're creating content or speaking, you're speaking to this person. The next item is not sharing it with your team. So yes, it's important for you to know it, but it's also important for anyone else in your company that would be interacting or developing content or marketing or doing anything out there for your company that would need to know who your ideal customer is, right? So share this with your team. Everyone on your team should know who your customer avatar is. So share it out there. All right, so that is how to develop a customer avatar that's going to skyrocket your marketing efforts and make everything so much easier. It's gonna take so much guesswork out of what to say and how to say it. We have created a toolkit for you that will help you in this and it's basically a, um, a customer avatar generator or creator. Um, it's like in a PDF format, but you can download it. It's if you go to liquidsdigital.com forward slash makeover dash toolkit, I will put a link to it in the show notes. You can go there. It, it isn't free, um, but it is worth it. It's, you know, it's under $30, but it comes with not just a customer avatar creator. It also comes with uh, a few other things. It comes with a, a four part video series of creating the content for your website. It comes with, um, you know, the a brand toolkit. So to create your brand toolkit. So it comes with a lot of extras. Uh, you can go to the link, check it out. It, it's well worth it. Um, but yes, okay. If you have any questions on this, please let us know. I would love to help you get through this part. I know it can sometimes be a challenge to do. It's worth putting in the time and the effort to get this done and to get it done right. And once it's done, it's done. So that's great. So just take the time to do it. If you have any questions, let us know. If you like this episode, please leave us a review, share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next episode.